Something is off about this channel. On the surface, Kate Yup is a thriving mukbang content creator who has amassed over one and a half million subscribers. Kate Yup only has 30 videos spread out over five years on YouTube. All of her videos reach millions of views, but other famous mukbangers adhere to a strict upload schedule. In order to maximize profit and engagement, in a relatively short time span, she rose to infamy due to the odd nature of her behavior, never showing her face or surroundings, but just being anonymous can explain this level of success. Maybe it's the ASMR element. I guess nothing's better than some... It could be the challenge aspect, speed running through all the food in front of her, or... Is it something insidious lurking behind each upload? Subreddits, blogs, conspiracy theories, and even her own comments have speculated that she is being forced to make these videos against her will. Taking a closer look, there are patterns and behaviors that could legitimize some of these claims. And without any convincing responses from Kate herself, her audience is left to believe the worst. Her first video on April 23rd, 2018, depicts are eating 11 pounds of salmon. To put this into perspective, 11 pounds of salmon is roughly 10% of a grizzly bear's daily diet. If any of you have a big appetite, you're gonna wanna make sure you're getting the highest quality ingredients and food possible. Which is why today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. My biggest problem when it comes to grocery shopping is how much time it takes out of my day. Not only will Thrive Market save you time from going to the grocery store, it can also help you cut down your grocery bill by about 30%. You can shop for thousands of the best-selling organic foods and natural products below traditional retail prices. Thrive Market carries the highest quality grocery essentials, eco-friendly cleaning supplies, non-toxic beauty items, supplements, organic kids products, wine, sustainably sourced meat and seafood, and much more. Whether you're gluten-free, vegan, or keto, you can shop by over 90 diets and values. Thrive Market products are good for you and the planet. Orders over $49 are shipped free and delivered with carbon neutral shipping and from their zero waste warehouses. The company's Thrive Gives initiative makes it possible for low-income families, teachers, and veterans to access natural, high-quality organic foods easily. For every paid annual membership, Thrive Market donates a free membership to someone in need. With my membership, I was able to save $24 on my favorite snack, which are chomps. Whether you're looking to save time or money or just source amazing items, a Thrive Market membership is for you. Head on over to thrivemarket.com slash Filion or just click the link down below to receive a free $60 gift. And thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video. Over the next 18 months, her mukbangs would progressively get bigger and bigger, but prior to any real answers for her erratic behavior, she disappeared off of YouTube. Both normal viewers and conspiracy theorists were left to speculate whether or not she was okay and the truth behind her channel. After all, if you've amassed such a big audience, it's rare just to disappear off the face of the earth and not upload. It seemed no one would ever find an answer until this month on October 7th, 2022, when Kate Yup posted again. Before we talk about her videos and where these theories come from, it's better to try and understand Kate Yup. For starters, no one knows who she is. She has never shown her face or much of her surroundings. However, there are some details and facts that help us paint a better picture of who or where she is. It's believed that she lives in France or is French because her first video was posted with French text in the description box and she speaks English with a seemingly broken French accent. People online claim she is one of several missing women, such as Carly Lane Goose, a California teen on the FBI missing persons list since 2018. Others speculate she is Joanna Janjacek, a former professional MMA fighter and Muay Thai kickboxer from Poland. The most compelling identity for Kate Yup is the woman pictured here. Career explained that by using Google images, she found a Facebook photo posted by a French male individual who had tagged someone else in the photo named Kate Yup. Toyer explained 
that the girl in the photo was wearing the same rings as Kate Yup. Now in the photos, when I zoomed in on her fingers, it had the ring. She wears these rings in her mukbangs that, you know, when she eats, you can see them in the camera and I'll include screenshots. And compared the hair color, facial structure, and general stature as being almost identical. Suspiciously, the photo posted to Facebook tagging Kate Yup has since been removed by the business. The weird thing is, when you look at Kate Yup's responses, you can almost believe she or whoever is behind the channel is not a woman. A good amount of her descriptions start with, I am a girl. That's not entirely strange, but in her replies to viewers, she often describes herself in the third person. Perhaps this is just a language barrier. After all, English is not her first language. But there's more evidence that she isn't the only one around. When it comes to her identity, no one is certain, and it will probably stay a mystery. But to be honest, her identity pales in comparison to the larger mystery surrounding Kate Yup. On the surface, her videos may be considered regular mukbang content, but for someone her size, no, you know what? It doesn't matter. The amount of food she eats is alarming. Additionally, viewers believe she is being forced to eat within a certain amount of time, and that there's some hidden motivation behind these videos. Kate has acknowledged her viewers' concerns and, in broken English, states, quote, I have any health problem. My metabolic system has adapted in almost every description, which I guess is her way of saying I'm fine. I just think she forgot the don't. She also seems to look up and away at times, jerking her head in one direction like she's acknowledging someone off camera. This all starts to make sense when you listen closely to the footage. In Kate's video titled Four Hole Aloe Vera Leaf, there are different timestamps when an assumed male's voice can be heard giving Kate instructions. Hurry up, just eat, fast, I'll kill you. Shuffling and faint voices can be heard behind the camera, and you may even hear another person breathing. Is there some man hiding behind the camera, forcing Kate to devour food on YouTube for money? Could this be some sick man's fetish? In this case, it would explain the I am a girl clarification in almost every description. Is the context needed for the fetishization from the viewer's standpoint? Maybe some people wouldn't watch it unless she explicitly stated that she's a woman. It is speculated that she is being coerced by an unknown individual to eat as fast and as much as humanly possible. By extension, many people online believe that this anonymous person is abusing her. In some of her videos, she can be seen with bruises on her arms and hands, as well as what looks like to be a bruise or sore on her mouth. She responded to these theories by saying the bruises were from the sun and the cut on her lip was from herpes labialis. She may have convinced some people that she was indeed okay, but in a deleted video that had over 17 million views, during one of her mukbangs, she loses her teeth. It's hard to understand what she says because of the inflections in her voice, but it's assumed she lost three teeth in total. I can't help but think that this tooth was the spectacle of the video. I am not a doctor, and I am not diagnosing Kate Yup. All of the red flags point to a woman suffering with severe bulimia. A commenter even pointed out that she has a toothbrush strapped to her arm, which, if this theory has any credibility, she may use as a purging tool. In every sense of the definition, this is disordered eating. Which begs the question, is there an element of self-awareness? Does Kate Yup turn on the camera in order to monetize her eating disorder through mukbang culture on YouTube? Or are these videos her hidden pleas for help? With the lack of communication from Kate herself, some viewers theorize that in one of her videos, you can see her tapping what looks to be a random sequence, but some viewers theorize that this is actually Morse code. This was shut down by Kate Yup, but not everyone was convinced. Using lower third title cards, there are secret messages in her text emphasized by capital letters. For example, SOS and H-E-L-P. Let me ask you, is the bruising teeth falling out, hidden messages, and strange voices all a coincidence? After all, 
Why would she have the freedom over editing? Any editor will tell you, myself included, that everything is intentional. Why would her perceived captor let her edit in secret messages that could end up ruining his scheme? Why would she not use any resources or technology to contact the police or friends? If the only explanation is that Kate Yup has a potential eating disorder, there is still a lot left to explain. Maybe Kate Yup is self-aware. Does she do this on purpose? The voices, the cryptic messages, the secret identity, also that more people visit her channel. It is YouTube and attention is everything. If so, Kate Yup's content resembles some twisted ARG or ARG, where we, the viewer, must find the clues in order to find some obscure answer. And if you don't want to look at it under this context, she's doing this to drive the most amount of traffic to her channel. What may have started from a series of coincidences and strange occurrences has snowballed into a monolithic mukbang channel. Perhaps Kate Yup purposely leans into this and disappears to drive even more traffic to her channel and vanishes for nearly three years pulling off one of the greatest mysteries YouTube has ever seen, without sacrificing an ounce of attention. Anyone with a trained eye will notice that Kate Yup's videos have a substantial amount of jump cuts, making it impossible for the viewer to know truly how much time has passed. For all we know, Kate Yup could take a break during her mukbang and come back hours later. All she would have to do is leave the tripod exactly where it was. Maybe the actual truth is just as dark. There is no man behind the camera, no forced eating or secret messages, just a sickly woman who hides her identity out of shame. When her story is framed like this, Kate knows what she's doing is unhealthy, but she can't stop herself. Or she has convinced herself that her behavior is in fact healthy or normal. We may not be able to pinpoint exactly what it is, whether her content is an ARG, trolling, abuse, or Kate's own choice. But that doesn't mean that Kate does not need help. Eating 11 pounds of salmon, which is roughly 1,000 grams of protein, the amount of protein an elite level athlete would need in a week is not normal in the slightest. I would venture to say that she doesn't fully digest this food. This level of intake or gorging could hospitalize you or even worse, kill you. If the toothbrush theory is correct, it's thought that after she's done eating, she uses the toothbrush to purge herself. Bulimia would explain the fact that her teeth fall out. It is well known that frequent vomiting wears away tooth enamel, increasing the risk of tooth decay and tooth loss. Bulimia also explains how she has kept a slender physique. Staying this thin while consuming thousands upon thousands of calories defies the very laws of thermodynamics. One plausible dark reality may be the sensationalization of mukbang culture on the internet. If you believe the secret messages, she also placed a SOS in her newest video, as if nothing has changed over the past three years. Unfortunately, her latest video only adds more credence to theories of actual abuse, purge addiction, eating disorders, or self-awareness in order to make money. As of now, her story is not over. Regardless of what you believe about Kate Yup, if her channel continues to get millions of views, she will not stop.